Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are probably millions and millions of applications that you can install on your computer, whether you're running Windows, Mac OS 10, Linux, whatever. And there are probably billions upon billions of web pages. And some of those web pages are services. You know, they allow you to do something that you can't do on your computer. I mean, it's an application or a service that runs inside the browser. Uh, something, let's say, uh, like Gmail, for instance. You know, Gmail, it's an application. It's something that runs on the web. And when you want to go to Gmail, you have to open a web browser and then go to gmail.com. But what if you wanted to run Gmail or any web app, any website, any web service as a desktop app with its own icon, memory space, running outside the web browser? Would you want to do that? It's possible. I'm going to show you a couple of ways. Uh, one is something that was a, a really launched officially today by Mozilla, open source of course, Prism. If you head over to prism.mozilla.com, there's this nice little icon there, bringing web applications to your desktop, essentially, you can run your favorite web services as apps. So we're going to create a, uh, a Prism application. Give it a URL. Let's go to gmail.com. Name, we'll give it Gmail. Show navigation bar. Eh, we don't need to really. Show status messages in progress. Nah, not really. Enable navigation keys. Nah. Create shortcuts. Desktop. Uh, I can also uh, create a shortcut in the applications folder. And then the icon. Either I can choose the icon or uh, go with the default one, and it shows uh, the uh, the default fave icon. So I'm just going to stick with that for now. We're going to go ahead and press OK. Now you see the window disappear. I'm going to zoom out and show you up here. I've got an icon on my desktop called Gmail. All right, let's go ahead and double click that. Zoom out again. And look at this. This is, a, this is an application here. It's outside my browser window. This is an app. Look, it's even got a, a, a menu here on the Mac. Now, it would work, run just as well on Windows because, remember, it's, it's Prism. It'll run, uh, you know, it's open source, so it'll run on just about any platform out there, at least any supported platform. And this application is now uh, not just, you know, got its own menu. It's got its own icon here. Uh, down down below in my dock right there. There's the uh, the G the big G right there See it's in the dock. So instead of running inside the web browser, it's it's its own application So when I want to have Gmail open, I don't have to open up the web browser. I can just open up my Gmail application Nice really nice. I could tab to it. I can launch it on startup Whatever it is that I wanted to do. I've created a web application. Well, no a desktop application from a web application, which is still a web application, but I didn't create it. I just created it. You guys get the picture? So there you go. There's Prism. You can download it right now. Uh, easily installed. You can download the Firefox extension if you want. However, uh, my recommendation is just to download the desktop application and, and give it a shot uh, just directly from the desktop. You don't need to have Firefox installed to run this, by the way, just so you know. So even if you don't like Firefox, Prism is worth it. Essentially, it's running uh, the, the, the foundation of Firefox inside this window. So it's kind of a, a, a browser that's dedicated to the, that particular application. And the uh, potential is pretty much unlimited. Now, if you run Mac OS X, I'm going to make another recommendation that is uh, in many ways better than Fluid. Fluid may be open source. That's fine. Uh, I'm sorry. Fluid is in many ways better than Prism. Prism may be open source, but I still like Fluid more. Fluid is free. It's only available for Mac OS X and essentially does the same thing and a hell of a lot more. So if you like the idea of running a web page, a web service, web application as a separate desktop app on your computer, check out Prism. If you're on Mac OS X, check out Prism and then also check out Fluid. And you can just Google Fluid and find that one. It's just it's just super super simple. And I, I use I've got plenty of Fluid instances. I've got like a, a Ping FM application. Let's see here. Let me launch that. I've got let's see here a Flickr desktop application. That's a, a Fluid instance. Uh, what else do I have? Oh Groove Shark. I also run that way. Oh Rhapsody. I also run. Each one of these things are web pages, but I've got them running as separate applications, and they've got their own icons and everything. Like you see, if I Command Tab. I can, well, here, let me zoom in a little closer here and show you. Uh, it's like not right click. I've got, like, see, there's the Rhapsody icon, Groove Shark icon, Flickr icon, Ping icon. I've got dedicated icons. These aren't just web pages, they're applications running on my computer, directly letting me access those websites or web services. It's a good idea. Even if you think it's crazy, trust me, it's a good idea. It's a good idea.
check it out. Prism or Fluid. Didn't mean to kind of flub my lines there in between, but say la vie when you don't run off a script. Anyway, if anybody else has got recommendations for well, similar services or web services that we might want to wrap into desktop applications, anything interesting, really, drop me a line. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by our community. Uh, we've got one. You know, YouTube's its own community. We've got geeks.perillo.com is uh, kind of an extension of the uh, tech enthusiast community. And uh, you're more than welcome to uh, post reviews or recommendations, ask questions, get answers there. We've also got this chat room here that's a part of this live video feed going out over the web uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech. And uh, even if I'm not paying attention to what's going on down here, not like on my desk physically, but I mean like the chat room that's part of the, this video feed, uh, they're making fun of me. It's just every time I turn to the chat room, it's just there's someone just making fun of me. Of course, now they're making a liar out of me, which is much better than making a flute out of me. <clears throat> anyway, you're more than welcome to join us. We're waiting for you. What are you waiting for? We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.